tax on profit tax on profit 8 lakhs into 50 percent tax on profit 8 lakhs into 50 percent is equal to 4 lakhs 8 lakhs into 50 percent is equal to 4 lakhs i think i'm writing or not 8 lakhs into 50 percent is equal to 4 lakhs can i see salvage value after tax is equal to please shh. salvage value after tax is equal to salvage value after tax is equal to 8 lakhs minus 4 lakhs I get 8 lakhs, I pay the government 4 lakhs, what the balance in hand? 8 lakhs minus 4 lakhs is equal to 4 lakhs. Salvage value after tax is equal to 4 lakhs. Can I proceed or not? No. Right? Here, cash flow, present value factor, discounted cash flow. Here, cash flow, present value factor, discounted cash flow. One column I'm omitting it, right? As I dictate, don't look at the slide. Year cash flow, present value factor, and then what discounted cash flow. When I get the salvage value today or end of 15th year, end of 15th year, right? The year, year, sorry, 15, year 15, okay. Now, what is the cash flow straight away the after tax? What is the cash flow after tax? 4 lakhs. Cash flow is 4 lakhs. Year 15, cash flow is 4 lakhs. I want present value factor 15 years at 10 percent. What are the number here? Yeah. 0.2394. 0.2394. 3 factor is 0.2394. 4 lakhs into 0.42394 gives how much rupees? 95,760. That gives me 95,760. 95,760. Answer my question. This is inflow or outflow? Inflow. Discounted inflow after 15 years. Respond. Yes or no? No. Step 1 is what? Mission. Sorry. Building cost. Step 2 is what? Depreciation. Tax savings. Step 3 is what? Salvage value after tax. And one more thing is what? Repairs. Write down step 4. Step 4. Repair cost. Step 4, repair cost. Step 4, repair cost. Have the following 4 columns or following 5 columns. Year cash flow, cash flow after tax, PVF, discounted cash flow. Shall I start or not? No. Tell me, I am doing repairs in which and which year? 14th year and 15th year. 14th year, look at the workbook and tell me how much I am spending for repairs here? 4 lakhs. Okay. See, when I spend 4 lakhs per repair, what I will do? I will debit in my p and account. Yes or no? I debit the 4 lakhs in the p and account. The profit comes down by 4 lakhs. On which I say how much tax? 50% tax. That means what the repair cost after tax? 2 lakhs. The repair cost after tax is 2 lakhs. Any expenses save tax. Any income pays tax. Okay. It is 2 lakhs. Now, percent value factor 14 years 10%. What are the number? 0.2633, 2 lakhs into 0.2633 gives me 52,660, 52,660, 15th year, you can spend another 4 lakhs in 15th year, what are the cash flow after tax, 2 lakhs, cash flow tax is going to be 2 lakhs, the present value factor for 15 years is going to be 0.2. 2394, 2394, discounted cash flow 47,880. Discounted cash flow 47,880. Everybody, can I proceed or not? No. Please tell me the total repair here. How much will be, sir? 1,540. 100,540. Total is 100,540. 100,540. We have completed how many steps here? Four steps. All the four are done to calculate the amount to be recovered from the lessee. Yes or no? No. Step 4 or step 5? Yeah. Step 5. Write down. Step 5. Amount to be recovered from lessee. Step 5. Amount to be recovered from lessee. Amount to be recovered from lessee. Amount to be recovered from lessee. Okay. Year, particulars, type and discounted cash flow. A present value of cash flows.
Shall we start the now? First, year 0, tell me what is that I had here? Initial investment. Type is inflow, outflow? Outflow. What is its present value? 24 lakh 60,000. Year 0, I made an investment, is an outflow 24 lakh 60,000. 1 to 15 years, 1 to 15 years, I had tax savings on depreciation. 1 to 15 years, I had a tax savings on depreciation. Tax savings on depreciation, answer me, inflow or outflow or inflow. Is a benefit I am enjoying the inflow. What is the present value of that? You had a step number 2, I think. What is the number it is? 6,23,700. Inflow should go to reduce my investment outflow or not. Answer it is write it in bracket. 6,23,700. Next. Year 14, year 15. Can you guess what is happening in year 14, year 15? It is what? Repairs after tax. Year 14, year 15. It is repairs after tax. Tell me, repairs after tax is inflow or outflow? Outflow. It is outflow. Repairs after tax is outflow. I want the number, yeah. What well, discount the repair after tax in today's term? 1,540. It's an outflow now, right? As it is, 1,540. Any other cash flow is that? Yes. What is that? Year? year 15. Year 15, what it is? Salvage rally after tax. Any amount received, we have to pay tax now, salvage value after tax. What is the inflow or outflow? Inflow. Salvage value after tax, it is inflow. I want a number. What is the number? 95,760. Salvage 95,760. Wait, yeah, 95,760. If you knock off everything, what is the amount to be recovered from lessee? 18,41,080. 18, 41,080. 18 lakh 41,080. 18 lakh 41,080. Those far left, everybody are you understanding it or not? Can I proceed? Now, this is the amount to be recovered. Who will give this money? How will give? Least rental. If we recover this money alone, important term? No. I should recover this money after paying tax and after earning what? And return of 10% of my investment. Respond, it's all no. That means discount and lease central should be equal to what? 18,41,080. Am I right or not? Now, answer my question. All 15 years, same lease central, different lease central, different lease central. So, can you go for fixation of lease central or not? Next. Step 4 or step 5 or step 6? Or step 7 was only Step number 6. Step 6. Fixation of lease rental. Please. Step 6. Fixation of lease rental. Fixation of lease rental. Fixation of lease rental. Step 6. Fixation of lease rental. Have the following columns. Year. Year. Lease rental. Lease rent after tax. Year. Lease rental. Lease rent after tax. Annuity factor. Discounted cash inflow. Year, lease rent, lease rent after tax, annuity factor, discounted cash, inflow. Year, 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15. In three stages, you're going to have a lease rental change or not. 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15. Each year, 1 to 5, I am going to charge how much lease rental? X. I am going to charge lease rental as X. 6 to 10 each year, I am going to charge how much lease rental? 1.2x. Now, 120% I am going to hike by 20% or not? 1.2x. 11 to 15? 1.5x. It is not 150% of the previous, it is 150% of normal given, na? it is 1.5x. Every when I get x, can I take x home up? No. I have to pay government how much tax? 50%. What is after tax in my hand here? 0.5x. Second case, what is advertising in hand? 0.6x, 0.75x, 0.5x, 0.6x, 0.75x. Calculator, please. 1 to 5 annuity factor, 1 divided by 1.10 is equal to 5 times, plus grand total. 1 to 5 annuity factor, everybody do it and tell me, what is the number? 3.7908, 3.7908. 
So how, what is 6 to 10? 10 years annuity factor minus 5 years annuity factor. 1 divided by 1.10 is equal to 10 times minus 3.7908. I want a number. Everybody please do and tell me. What is the number? 2.3538. 2.3538. 11 to 15, 15 years annuity factor minus 10 years. Tell me what is the number here? 1.4615. 1.4615. Discounted least rental. 0.5 into 3.7908 gives you 1.8954x. 1.8954x. 0.6 into 2.3538 will be giving me 1.41228x. 1.41228x. 0.75 into 1.4615 will be giving me 1.096125x. 1.096125x. 1.06125x. If I add it, I'll be getting this quantity least until now. What the total? 4.403805x. 4.403805x. 3805x. I hope you are writing along with me or not. Write on. To have 10% as IRR, continue writing. To have 10% as IRR, to have 10% as IRR, discounted lease rental is equal to, to have 10% as IRR, discounted lease rental is equal to, respond is equal to, amount to be recovered from lessee. Discounted lease rental is equal to, amount to be recovered from lessee. 4.403805x is equal to, 4.403805, 3805 is equal to 18,41,080. Is equal to 18,41,080. 18,41,080. Please solve. X is equal to 18,41,080 divided by 4.403805. 18,41,080 divided by 4.403805. Can I simplify and tell me what is X here? 418,000. 4 lakh 18,066. 4 lakh 18,066. I want an answer. This is a rent for one flat or six flats or six flats. You know, yes or no? Rent for how many flats are? Six flats. They are asking you to fix the rent for what? One flat. So divided by what? Six. Lease rental per flat per annum is equal to. Lease rental per flat per annum is equal to. This is an annual lease rental for the entire construction cost of 6 lakhs or not. So, lease rental per flat per annum is equal to 4,18,066 divided by 6. 4,18,066 divided by 6. Is equal to how much? 69,678. 69,678. We have to complete the problem. This is a lease rent for all the 15 years. Huh? No. This is a lease rent only for what? First two, 5 years. Next one becomes what? 120 and so on. Write down. Next. The lease rent structure is as follows. 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 Here, lease rent. I require you to tell me the number. I don't have it. Year and then lease rent. Year, lease rent. Tell me what you write in year first. 1 to 5 years. 1 to 5 years. What is the lease rent per annum? 69,678. 69,678. 69,678. Next is what? 6 to 10 years. 6 to 10 years. Put 120 percent. Tell me what the number? 83,614. 640. 614. 83,614. 83,614. 83,614. 89,678 into 150%. 11 so, this is a solution for this particular sum. Everybody respond. Yes or no? Now, tell me, 
compared to portfolio bond and all, leasing simple or difficult? It is only a lengthy problem, but the chapter is quite simple compared to the others. Can you perceive? Now, with this, we have completed one angle called as what? Lesser's angle. If you see all the lesser problem, the question is they ask me to fix what the least rental so that after paying tax, I earn a desired rate of return. That's a question. Okay. Now, give the heading lessees problems. Give the heading lessees problems. Stop talking. Give the heading lessees problems. Okay, please. Shh. For lessee, I'm waiting. Can I start or not? Please. What is so much there to talk here? Every 10, ten seconds you go and talk. I don't know what is the matter. In the matter again. Can I was in house? Two persons only always talk frequently. One is old person. On those days, all this happened. They keep on talking. They never stop. Old person. Number two, lovers. Cut up. No. So, we did not want disturbers in the classroom. No lovers. Hence, we separately kept the boys and girls. I don't know. I, don't know. I saw age here. Yeah. No old person here. I don't know. So, everybody is young and energetic. Yes or no? No. Still, I wonder how we are talking. I don't know. This is. Can I start on? See, you will not go home unless I complete minimum four lessy problems. So, it is in your hand, also in your mouth also, okay? Close your mouth, open your hand and water, write it, yeah, okay, please. Can I proceed? Now, see. Come to lessy. Already discussion is over, only problem has to be solved. Please, let us have a summary of the lessee discussion before we start doing the problems on the lessee cycle. A person requires an asset. He requires asset to do a business. For my production and sales, suppose I require a machine. Okay. I have two options. First of all, understand that I identify the asset. The question is not whether machine should be had or not. I should surely have what? Machine. Asset is going to be surely had. Okay. There is no question say about that. The only question is how to get that asset. How to finance that particular asset is what is the lessee's angle. Everybody following or not? No. Broadly speaking, I have two options. Option one is what? Borrow money. That is apply a loan to the bank. Borrow money. Buy the asset and own the asset. Yes or no? The other option is what? Uh, borrow the asset itself from a leasing or higher purchase company. Which we call as what transaction? Lease transaction. That's what? Yes or no? So I have two options. Either what? Borrow the money and purchase asset. Number two is what? Uh, borrow the asset itself. Now, clarity. When I borrow money, when I apply for loan and buy the asset, tell me what are all the cash flows going to have. Tell me how many cash flows? Four cash flows. Tell me to the person from whom I borrowed, I have borrowed money from the bank, yeah? To the bank, I have to pay how many cash flows? Two. In the two cash flows, principal and then interest payment. Respond, yes or no? And also, I enjoy as a owner of the asset, what? Depreciation tax saving. Also, what? Salvage value. So, loan and buy option, I have got four cash flows, two inflows, two outflows. What are two inflows? 
principal payment as well as interest after tax payment. Outflows are what? Depre inflows are depreciation tax savings and salvage value after tax. Accept it. In lease option, the only cash flow is what? Lease rental I have to pay. The lease rental after tax. You may wonder, sir, here there are four, there is only what? One. I don't have depreciation tax savings. I don't have what? Uh, salvage value. Is lease option already disadvantages up? No. Because while fixing lease rental, now only we saw that we give the credit to what? Uh, depreciation tax savings as well as what? Salvage value. <coughs> Ultimately, mostly, lease rentals will be less than the EMIs because EMI does not give you the credit for all these two items lease rental gives. Effectively, conceptually, both the options are equally good. Yes or no? Both the options are equally good, no doubt about it, but it need not be same because both are different markets. ICICA Bank is also doing financing business, Sundaram Finance also doing what? Financing business, but both may do financing, one is asset financing, and this is what a money financing, is or no? In that case, the demand supply for money and demand supply for asset may be what? Different. They may have different interest rate charts. Are you following what I am saying? At a given point of time in the market, one may be beneficial for us. Are you following what I am saying? It is all about how to tap the finance, either off balance sheet financing, lease financing, or what? Uh, balancing financing, loan financing is a choice between the company. Everybody, are you following what I am saying? This is about lessee problem. Can I proceed on? now? Please. In that, I said borrow and buy the asset or not. Now, there are, don't think that I have to go borrow only from what uh, the banks, etc. I can even borrow from the supplier. Understood or not? The company is there. I am going to go and buy a machine. The producer and seller of the machine may say, you pay in installments. You pay in what? Installments. That is also another way of borrowing and buying. Yes or no? So I can borrow from the bank. I can even borrow from what? The supply itself. Where I can borrow as an installment. That is also coming only under what? Borrow and buy. It is not a lease. Everybody following or not? So, whichever option gives me the lowest outflow that should be selected. In the no. See, one of the very confusing area and let's see is these two cash flows are there or not namely the borrow and buy another is what lease these two cash flows should be discounted and the discount outflow should be compared right or not the problem is what should be the discount rate do you understand my question or not no i have principal interest after tax depreciation tax savings salvage after tax four cash flows are there yes or no one may be single, some may be annuity, anything. Yeah. All this cash flow should be discounted to know the discount outflow under loan option, right or not? I pay lease rental every year for n years. I should discount the lease rental or not? Now, these two options, I should discount and compare. Respond, yes or no? The question is, what should be the discount rate that should be used for discounting it? A question arises now. Any approach is that? No. In the lessee product, the confusion is selection of what uh, discount rate, how the discount rate should be selected is a separate issue. Are you following or not? Now, don't answer, ask me that question. I will discuss about discount rate for one hour in the next class with some charts given. Are you following what I am saying? So now you don't worry about discount rate. Whatever rate I use for discounting, you also want to use it. Yeah? And we will compare all the problems. We will compare what? All the problems. Which problem? How to use discount rate? It will be discounting in a separate issue. At the end of this particular lesson, some. Everybody following not? So except for discount rate, these calculations are simple and straightforward. First, we will try to do the calculation with the discounted given in the question or the discount which I use later at the end of the chapter that is at the end of the lessee problems I will give you a chart in which with discount rate when it should be used okay that chart will work 90% of the time it will work what 90% of the time 10% mistake is there in suggestion what I am saying I cannot teach for all those issues i can give you a chart overall scenario but institute study material or the practice material always bungles most of the time in taking over the discount rate properly and that we cannot hedge you know that is unsystematic risk or that is systematic risk inside the system itself i cannot say provide premium for the right and order in that case what i can do is only give you a chart logical chart when the discount rate what should be used Mostly 90% of the time, that chart will be working. 10% it is 
depending on the installed practice manual. So what I request you to do is, in any leasing product, when you write a discount rate, tell the reason and then what? Write the discount rates. Okay. Now you don't worry about all those things. We'll discuss about discount rate at the end of the lessee problem discussion. Now we are going to simply do the calculation, compare the options. Can you start or not? Now. Let's start with the first sum. I think question number 24. Okay. Before I start, consolidation. Tell me, lessee ke leasing decision is investment or financing? Financing. He has got how many options? Two options. Name the two options. Borrow and buy or lease the asset. Which should be selected? Whichever gives him the lowest outflow should be selected. In that, what are all the cash flows for the first option? Principal repayment, interest after tax payment, depreciation tax saving, salvage value. Lease option only cash flow is what? Lease until after tax. Now tell me why we did not have the salvage value and depreciation because he is not the owner. He cannot get it. But does he get it or not? Yes. It is given by reduction of the lease rental itself. So conceptually both options are equally good. But since the market is different, there can be an advantage in interest rates in one of the options. Here we have to go for this lease versus buy decision. Can I proceed or not? Now. Please take question number 24. Take question number 24. A company has, please, a company has three alternative source of funds available to finance a mission that costs 90,000 rupees. Option 1, lease the equipment, annual lease payment 36,000, useful life 3 years, term of lease is 3 years, resident value nil. Income tax rate 50%, interest rate 10%. Alternative 2, buy on installments, down payment 20,000, balance in 3 equal annual installments, interest at 14% on declining balance, useful life of the asset is 3 years with no residual value. Alternative 3, borrow from bank, repay principal at the end of the third year, an interest to be paid at 15% per annum. You are required to find out which alternative of financing the acquisition of the machine is the most desirable, assuming after tax cost of capital as 10% and depreciation is on straight line method. One thing, I am going to discount at what percent? 10%. When the question gives you after tax cost of capital, that should be used for what? Discounting without any more extra thinking. You already following not? So I am going to use what as a discount rate? 10%. Can you start or not? No. I'll just give you two minutes time. Quickly go through the facts before you start with the solution. Please. Shall we start or not? Now, this company wants a mission. It wants a mission. What is the cost of that mission? What is the cost of the mission? 90,000. Please point it. What is the cost of the mission? 90,000. It has three options. Number one, don't worry about that 90,000. Take the mission on lease. Take the mission on lease. 
if it goes for the lease option, every year it has to pay to the lessor. How much lease rental? 36,000. How many years? Yeah? Three years. This is option number one. Can I say? Option number two is, ask the machine producer himself or the machine supply himself for what? Installments. He says, okay, I'll sell you the machine worth how much? 90,000. You become the owner of the machine. Yes or no? But he says, no need to pay 90,000 now itself. We pay in what? Installments. In which first, how much it pays? 20,000. Make a down payment. Make a down payment. And balance what? 70,000. Equally pay over three years. In the parade or not? That means 20,000, then you pay what? 70,000 divided by 3, 23,000 and odd, you're going to pay over what? 3 years. This is how you should be paying that 90,000. Respond, yes or no. Now, when you pay in installments, he is going to charge you some interest or not? Yes. How much is going to interest charge you? 14 percent is going to charge the interest. So, this is under the second option called as what? Installment. Third option is apply a loan to the bank. Bank says, I'll disperse a 90,000 rupees loan. But what you should do? You should repay the principal after three years. Till then, every year pay me how much percent interest? 15 percent interest on that 90,000. Is yes, what is the bank option? Everybody following not? So, three choices. Lease, installment, loan. Are you following what I am saying? now? In installment and loan option, I can claim depreciation and also have what? Salvage value because asset becomes mine. Yes or no? In lease option, I have only one cash flow called as what? Lease rental. Everybody having the clarity? Yeah. Can I proceed? And one more thing is, in examination, when they use the word equal installments, now it should be principal equal. Are you following? When they use the word equated, when they use the word what? Equated. It is like an EMI where the principal plus interest should be what? Equal installments. Everybody following not? So this should also be kept in mind. Can you start doing the problem? Huh? No. Tell me, what the first option? Lease. What the first option? Lease. Write down first. Alternative one, lease. This is a single step calculation, not an issue. Alternative 1, lease. Alternative 1, lease. Okay. In lease option, I want to know how many cash flows are there? 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 up? 1 cash flow. What the only cash flow? Lease rental. Write down first. Lease rental is equal to, lease rental is equal to 36,000. Lease rental is equal to 36,000. Answer me, for you it is an income or expense. Uh, expense. <laughs> this 36,000, wouldn't you debit in PNL account or not? Yes. Or yes. will you save tax or not? Yes. yes. All expenses is going to save what? Tax. Whenever I say outflow, I mean only outflow after tax. Next write down. Lease rental after tax is equal to. Lease rental after tax is equal to. 36,000 into 1 minus 0.5. You know, anything before tax into 1 minus 3 gives you after tax or not? Lease rental after tax is equal to 36,000 into 1 minus 0.5. What is the amount here? 18,000. Lease rental after tax is 18,000. After tax is 18,000. Stop writing and tell me, this is a rent I am going to pay one year or every year? Every year. For how many years? Three years. So, to find out the discount, I remember by what factor? Annuity factor. Write down next. Annuity factor at. Annuity factor at. Look at the question. What is the cost of capital given? 10%. Annuity factor at? 10%. Annuity factor at? 10%. How many years? Three years. Annuity factor at 10% 3 years is equal to 2.4868. Annuity factor at 10% 3 years is equal to 2.4868. Discounted lease rental is equal to discounted lease rental is equal to 18,000 into 2.4868. Discounted lease rental is equal to 18,000 into 2.4868. Is equal to 44,762. Discount and lease rental is equal to 44,762. Now tell me, if I go for lease option, what are the cost of finance is asset? 44,762. Am I right or not? This is the cost when you go for the lease option. Now tell me the alternative 2 is what? Installments. Right? Alternative 2, installments. Alternative 2, installments. Alternative to installments. Okay. Before you write, 
Number the cash flows, then you can start doing the steps. What are the four cash flows? Principal. When I buy the machine, I install and I have to repay the principal. Or principal. Number two is what? Interest after tax. Number three is what? Depreciation, tax savings. Number four is what? Salary is value. All the four I am going to have or not? Can we start or not? First, write down step one. Principal. So, all I need to do is installment. Step one, principal. Okay, can I proceed now? Shall we start? Um, no. 90,000 rupees. Center right, 90,000 rupees. How I am going to pay this 90,000 rupees? I am buying the machine from the supplier, 90,000 rupees. How I am going to pay 90,000 rupees? 20,000 is what? Down payment. Down payment, 20,000. Immediately pay 20,000. 20,000 down payment. And then installments, 70,000. 20,000 down payment, installment, 70,000. Please branch the installment into three. P1, P2 and then P3. Or year 1, year 2, year 3. And you have period 1, period 2 and period 3. 23,333. 23,333. 70,000 by 3 na? 20,333. 23,333. 23,334. One rupee have to pay him or not? I pay the last installment. Time value of money there na? 23,334. Okay. 23,333. 23,333. 23,334. Can I proceed or not? No. Next. Principal step one over. Can I proceed? Step two. Interest. Please. Step two. Interest. Step to interest. Okay. Year 1. That is year interest principal outstanding interest after tax. And whenever I pay interest, I can save tax on that. Yes or no? So, year interest principal outstanding interest after tax. First year, they charge me interest on how much rupees? Answer how much rupees? 90 year, 70 year, 70. In a down payment, 20 given. He is financing only how much rupees? 70,000. So interest is 14% of 70,000. 14% of 70,000 is equal to 9,800. 14% of 70,000 is equal to 9,800. What is the principal outstanding? At the end of first year, I have repaid 23,333. 70 minus 23,333 gives you 46,667. 46,667. So, 9,800 interest is before tax. On this, I can say how much percent tax station. Tell me the tax rate 15%. What after tax interest rate 4,900. Interest after tax 4,900. In a before tax, first year I pay an interest of 9,800 on which I save a tax of 4,900. The interest after tax is 4,900. Accept or not? Now, second year. Tell me, second year I apply 14% on how much principal? 46,667. 14% into 46,667. 14% into 46,667. Tell me 6,533. Amount is 6,533. The principal outstanding is 23,334. And out of the 4667, at the end of second year, I have paid 23,333. The principal outstanding is 23,334. In the 6,533 rupees interest, I say 50% tax. What are the expenses after tax here? 3,267. After tax interest is 3,267. Third, third year, 14% charge interest on 23,334. 14% on 23,334, 3,267, 3,267, tell me what is the principal outstanding, zero. it is going to be 0, 3,267, it is going to be 0, what is the interest after tax, 3,267 into 50% gives you what, 1,634, 1,634, this is interest after tax, I hope everybody respond, yes or no, no. Next is, working note number one, principal over, working note number two is what? Interest over. Guess me, what is the next working note here? 
depreciation next is what a depreciation tax savings working out number three depreciation tax savings depreciation tax savings please depreciation tax savings okay value of asset what is the asset value 90,000 value of asset 90,000 can look at the question tell me is there any residual value of salvage value no salvage value nil salvage value nil method I want to use is SLM method SLM useful life how many years life three years method SLM life is three years depreciation is equal to 90,000 by three Depreciation is equal to 90,000 divided by 3 is equal to how much rupees? 30,000. Depreciation is equal to 30,000. On this, I am going to save tax now. How much tax I save? 50%. Tax savings is equal to, since I debit 30 in the P and L, the profit comes down by 30, the tax is saved by 50% of that amount brought down. 30,000 into 50%. What is the tax savings? 15,000. Tax savings is 15,000 per annum. Tax savings 15,000 per annum. 15,000 per annum. I hope everybody understanding it or not? No. Any salvage value? No. Now can you go for the last summary calculation? I do Next. Step 3 or step 4? Step 4. Calculation of discounted outflow under. Step 4. Calculation of discounted outflow under. Discount outflow under. Tell me what is the option? Installment option. Calculation of discounted outflow under installment option. Calculation of discounted outflow under installment option. Under installment option. Can I start or not? No. Have the following columns. Here. Adding all the cash flows. Here. First cash flow is what? Principal. First cash flow. Principal. Second cash flow, interest after tax. Simply write interest after tax. These two are obviously outflows. Third cash flow is what? Depreciation tax savings. Third column or fourth column, depreciation tax savings. Net outflow. Net outflow. My cost of capital 10% now. PV factor at 10%. Net outflow. PV factor at 10%. Discounted cash flow, PV factor at 10% and then discounted cash flow, discounted cash flow. Shall we proceed or not? Now, all numbers you have already calculated just to put on what? Do it. Can you start or not? Now, year 0, 1, 2, 3. Year 0, 1, 2 and then 3. Can you tell me what is the principal repayment schedule? Tell me how much I have to pay? 20,000 today itself, 23,333 in first year, 23,333 second year, 23,334 third year. It's total so much 90,000 obviously the principal has been repaid. Now, we had in step 2, please note the step 2 and tell me interest after tax you calculate step 2 or not. Please tell me what the interest after tax year 0, nil. What is year 1? 4,900, year 1, 4,900, year 2, 3,267, 3,267, year 3, 1,634, nil, 4,900, 3,267, 1,634. Can I proceed to the next stage? Depreciation tax savings. Every year, how much I save tax on depreciation? 15,000. Year 1, 15. Year 2, 15. Year 3, 15. Why I write in brackets? Inflow should try go to reduce my outflows. And that's been reduced. It's written in brackets. 15,000, 15,000, 15,000. Depreciation, tax savings. The real falling on. Huh? Can you proceed further? Now, next. What is the net outflow? 20,000. First year, uh, year 0 is 20,000. Year 1, 23,333 plus 4,900 minus 15,000. Tell me what is the number here? It is 13,233 
year 1 is 13,233. Year 2, 23,333 plus 3,267 minus 15,000 gives you 11,600. 11,600. Year 3, it is 23,334 minus 163, plus 1634 minus 15,000. I want the number 9,960. Can I add all these outflows and say this outflow? No. It should be adjusted for what? Time value of money. The cost of capital is 10%. Year 0, what are the PV factor? 1. Year 1, 9091. Year 2, 8264. Year 3, 0.7513. Please discount the cash flow, 20,000 into 1. I think I have written the factors or not? Now, right, 20,000 into 1, 20,000. 13,233 into 0.9091, 12,030, 12,030. 11,600 into 0.8264, that gives you 9,386. 9,000? 9, okay, make a change. 9,586, okay. 9,968 into 0.7513, what's the number? 7,489. 7,489. Can the last column be added up? Yes. You tell me whether my total is right. 49,000, I think totally is right. 49,105. I think it's 9,586. Huh? 9,586. Stop talking. Please. Shh. Yes, <coughs> 49,105. Tell me, installment option is going to cost me this mission. How much is 49,105. How much lease costed you? 40? 46,000? 44,000? Okay, till now, which is better? Yeah, lease is better. One more option is uh, go to the bank and what? Borrow it. Can I or not? Write down. Next. Alternative 3, loan option or borrow from bank. Alternative 3, borrow from bank. Alternative 3, borrow from bank. Can you start or not? No. Okay. First write, principal outstanding 90,000. Principal outstanding 90,000. Interest, how much percent? 15 percent. Every year interest is going to be the same because I repay the principal only at the end of the third year. Yes or no? So interest 15 percent. What is 90,000 into 15 percent? Tell me the number. 13,500. Interest is 90,000 into 15 percent. 13,500. Is the entire 13,500 cost for me? No. I can debit this interest in the P and L and save tax or not. So interest after tax. Interest after tax. Just write as I dictate. Interest after tax. 13,500 into 1 minus 0.5. Before tax into 1 minus 2 gives you after tax now. Interest after tax. 13,500 into 1 minus 0.5. What interest after tax? 6,750 per annum. 6,750 per annum. It is a single interest, annual annuity interest, annuity interest, 6,750 per annum. One more number we all know is what? Depreciation tax savings, 15,000. Depreciation tax savings, 15,000. Depreciation tax savings, 15,000. Okay. We can just complete it in one slide. Okay, I'll just show it in the sheet. Can I was it? It's going to be 15,000. Next, write down. Discounted outflow under. Have you finished writing or not? Discounted outflow under. Discounted outflow under. Loan option. Discounted outflow under. Loan option. Unline that. Discounted outflow under. Loan option. Unline that. Can we do it together or not? Now, have the following columns here. Have the following columns here. Second column is principal. Second column, principal. Third column, interest after tax. 
Fourth column what? Depreciation tax savings. Depreciation tax savings. Next column is what? Net outflow. Net outflow. And then or net outflow or it may also be what? Net inflow as the case may be. Next is what? Present value factor at how much percent? Ten percent. Discounted cash flow. PV factor at ten percent, then discounted cash flow. Can you proceed or not? Now, year 1, 2, 3. Year 1, 2 and then 3. Principal, do you pay in year 1? No. Year 2? No. Year how much you pay? 90,000. So, payment, let us write in numbers and inflows in brackets. Okay. Number 1 over. Interest after tax, every year tell me the number here. 6,750. 6,750, 6,750. Am I right or not? 6,750 each year is interest after tax. I think depreciation tax savings, we had a 15,000. Huh? No, that is the in inflow, outflow, uh, inflow. Right in what? Brackets. 15,000. 15,000 and then 15,000. Okay. First to two years, tell me 6,750 minus 15,000. What is the net outflow? Minus? 8, minus 8,000? Minus 8,250. Minus 8,250. Now, please tell me 90 plus 6,750 minus 15 is how much? How many days? 81,750. Uh, it is a okay outflow. Sorry, eighty-one thousand seven fifty. Now, P fact is how much? Point nine zero nine one, point eight two six four, point seven five one three, point nine zero nine one eight two six four, and then point seven five one three. Tell me the whole numbers. Minus eight two five zero into nine zero nine one gives what the number? One person. Seven thousand. 7,500 minus 8,250 into 0 0.8264 6,000 8,118 6,818 81,750 into 0.7513 61,490 tell me the net number here 40, 47,000, 1 not, okay, 47,000, 1 not, 1. The discount outflow under what? The loan option, 47,000, 1 not, 1. 47, 1 not, 1. Respond, yes or no? Now, out of the three, which is having the lowest outflow? Lease, write down. Lease option should be selected, please. Lease option should be selected. Since it results in lease option should be selected since it results in lowest cash outflow. Lease option should be selected since it results in lowest cash outflow. Since it results in lowest cash outflow. Since it results in lowest cash outflow. Everybody are you comfortable or not? With this, we have completed this question number 24. Please take question number 25. Take question number 25. Don't start shouting one hour earlier. It is too much. Can you proceed? No. Take question number 25. Shh. Stop talking. Please. Shh. Stop talking. Can you start now? Take question 25. Beta Limited is considering the acquisition of personal computer costing rupees 50,000.
Beta Limited is considering acquisition of a personal computer costing Rs. 50,000. Effective life of the computer is expected to be 5 years. Company plans to acquire the same either by borrowing 50,000 from its bankers at 15% interest per annum or by lease. The company wishes to know the lease rental to be paid annually which will match the loan option. The following further information is provided to you. A. Principal amount of the loan will be paid in 5 annual equal installment. He said EMI or equal principal. <laughs> equal principal. Next. Interest, lease rentals and principal repayment are to be paid on the last day of each year. That is the cash analysis at the end. Not annuity immediate. You should understand that. Next. Full cost of the computer will be written off over the effective life of the computer on straight line basis. And the same will be allowed for tax purposes. The company's effective tax rate is 40% and after tax cost of capital is 9%. So do all my calculation, what should be the discount to be used? 9%. When the question gives you after tax cost of capital, no doubt at all, use it for discounting. You know how much percentage here? 9%. The computer will be sold for 1700 rupees at the end of the fifth year. The commission on such sales will be 9% on sales value and the same will be paid. You are required to compute the annual lease rental payable by Beta Limited which will result in indifference to the loan option. Relevant discount factors are as follows. Again, the present value factors examination question. Okay. Please go through the facts of the question quickly before start with the solution. Please go through it quickly. Stop talking, please. Shall we start up? Okay, see. Company has got two options. Borrow and buy or lease. I am going to karate. As if I am putting you in jail. Can I I am doing for you right or not? Now, what is the energy level? Tell me. Yes or no? Yes. Be active. Don't be hyperactive. Can I go say it? See, tell me what are the two options available, borrow and buy or what? Lease. Borrow and buy option, tell me the cash flows to the company, principal repayment, what is the what is items here? Yeah. Principal repayment, interest payment after tax, depreciation tax savings, salvage value, yes or no, no. All this. If I discount it, I will be getting the discounted cash flow under loan option, right or not? Yes, sir. The question is, how much can you afford to pay lease rental? How much can you afford to pay as what? Lease rental. So that you are indifferent between what? Loan option and lease option. That is, uh, the lessee will be willing to pay how much as lease rental? The question, everybody, yes or no? If the rental is beyond that, he will not go for the lease. He goes for the loan option. So they ask you to calculate the indifference lease rental in this particular sum. Can I put it or not? No. First of all, let us calculate the cash flows under loan option and then go for the lease rental fixation. Can I proceed or not? Now, let's start with the solution, please. Right on first. Alternative 1. Alternative 1, loan option. 
alternative one loan option alternative one loan option okay can i proceed now step one principal payment step one principal repayment principal repayment can tell me how much you have borrowed 50,000 will be paid in what installment equal installment right on principal payment is equal to principal repayment is equal to 50,000 divided by 5 principal repayment is equal to 50,000 divided by 5 10,000 per annum Principal repayment is 10,000 per annum. Each year I repay 10,000 rupees principal to the bank. 10,000 per annum. Can I go see? Step 2. Interest after tax. Step 2. Interest after tax. Have the following columns. Particulars. Year 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Particulars year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Particulars year 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 5. Can I proceed? Now. Particulars la opening balance of principal, interest, interest after tax. In particular I have 3 items to be filled up. Opening balance of principal, interest, interest after tax. So, I think tax rate is 40 percent now. What is after tax? 60 percent. 1 minus T now. So, interest after tax. You want in bracket rate how much percent? 60 percent. Okay. Can I proceed? First year, what was the principal outstanding? 50,000. Principal outstanding is 50,000. On that, we have to pay, tell me how much percent interest is charged on the principal. How much? 15 percent. I borrowed 15 percent now. So it is 50,000 into 15 percent gives you 7,500. When I pay 7,500, 40 percent of that can be saved as tax. So no, what is the real payment after tax? Yeah, 7,500 into 60 percent gives you 4,500. Interest after tax is 4,500. Interest after tax 4,500. Next. Year 2, still I have to pay interest on 50 year, it has reduced, uh, reduced. The principal becomes how much? 40,000. I pay 10,000 every year, right or not? So the principal outstanding becomes 40,000. On a 15 percent interest gives you how much? 6,000. 15 percent interest is 6,000. On a 60 percent, how much it is? 3,600. Interest after tax is 3,600. Year 3, what is the principal outstanding? 30,000. On that, I have to pay how much interest? 15%. It is 4,500. 15%, 4,500 into 60%. What is the number here? 2,700. Number is 2,700. Interest after tax is 2,700. Comfortable? Next. Year 4, what is the principal outstanding? 20,000. Year 4, principal outstanding? 20,000. Into interest, 15%, 3,000. 15 percent interest is 3000. What is the interest after tax? 1800. After tax interest is 1800. Respond yes or no? No. Last year, what is the principal outstanding? 10,000. On the how much interest? 1500. 10,000, 1000. What is the interest after tax? 900. Interest after tax is 900. Nothing great here. Every year to the bank, how much I should pay as interest has been found out. That's it. Everybody, yes or no? One cash flow principal over step one number number two cash flow is what interest after tax. Tell me the third cash flow. So what is the third cash flow? Yeah. Depreciation tax savings. Now step three tax savings on depreciation. Tax savings on depreciation. My question is, I use what method? Yes, sir. Should I depreciate the book value minus salvage value or the full cost? Full cost. Who said? In which point? I think not awake or not. Points is that the full cost of the computer will be written off. Okay, write down. Total value 50,000. Total value 50,000. Salvage value ignored. Salvage value ignored. Depreciation is equal to 10,000 
Depreciation is equal to 50,000 by 5 is equal to 10,000. Depreciation is equal to 50,000 by 5. Depreciation over 5 years now is equal to 10,000. Depreciation is equal to 10,000. And what is the tax savings? 40 percent. I debit 10,000. Say 40 percent on that or not? Tax savings. How much rupees? 4,000. Tax savings and depreciation. 4,000. Tax savings and depreciation. 4,000. Tax savings. 4,000. Stop writing and tell me how many cash flows are there? Four. You know how much has been calculated? Three. Tell me what the fourth cash flow? Salvage value after tax. Step four. Salvage value after tax. Step 4, salvage value after tax. Step 4 is salvage value after tax. Can we start or not? No. Salvage value. Look at the question and tell me, I am selling this computer in the last year, how much rupees? 1,700. Salvage value, 1,700. Please. Will it take home entire 1,700? No. I to pay commission on sale or not. So what is the commission on sale here? Yeah? Commission is equal to 153. Now they said how much commission is going to be paid? 9%. 1,700 into 9%. Commission I have to pay now is 153. Commission is 153. Tell me what is the net salvage value I am having in my hand? How much will it be going to be? 1,547. 1,547. This is salvage value, gain of both the same, both the same. Because the computer costing zero, I sold for how much base? 1,547. Why the computer value is zero? I fully depreciated, yes or no? So a zero computer, I've been sold for how much? 1,547. Tell me the entire amount becomes what? Gain. On the student I pay tax or not? Yes, right on. Tax at 40%. Tax at 40%. 1547 into 40%. Tax at 40%. 1547 into 40%. I want a number. 619. Tax at 40%. 619. Salvage value after tax. 1547 minus 619. Salvage value after tax. 1547 minus 619. What is after tax salvage value? 928. Salvage value after tax is 928. This is an inflow outflow arm. Inflow. Can I proceed for the next? Step 2 or step 3 or step 4? Step 5. Step five. Okay, step 5. Final summary. Or discount outflow under loan option. Final summary or Discounted outflow under loan option. Final summary or discounted outflow under loan option. Or discounted outflow under loan option. I hope everybody understanding reading or not. Now, have the following columns here. Plan your page. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 columns will be there. Okay. Here. PV factor. I want an answer. PV factor at what person? 9 person. Okay. You don't need to calculate also. Question has given you the factor. Okay. Here PV factor. Principal. Principal. Interest after tax. Wrongly AF I put AT. Okay. Interest after tax. Next tax on depreciation, net outflow, discounted cash flow. Tax on depreciation, net outflow and discounted cash flow. Can we start putting the numbers or not? Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 5. So when the question gives a present value factor, use the same. You don't write in four decimals when they are given in what? Two decimals, then the answer will not tally. Can I say it? No. So what is the present value factor? 0.92. That's how I got 0.92. Tell me. 1 divided by 1.09. Tell me what is 1 by 1.09? 0 0.92. 0 0.92. 0 0.92. 0 0.92. 0 0.92. Tell me what is 1 by 1.09? Next is 0.84. 0.77. 0.78. 
Tax on depreciation, we calculate how much it is yeah? 4,000. It's an inflow, outflow, inflow. It should go to reduce an outflow now, right within what? Brackets. It is 4,000 everywhere. 5 years, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000 and 4,000. The tax shield I enjoy on depreciation. Net outflow, 14,500 minus 4,000, 10,500. 13,600 minus 4,000, 9,600. 12,700 minus 4,000, 8,700. 11,800 minus 4,000, 7,800. 10,900 minus 4,000, 6,900. 6,900. Now, discounted cash flow, 0 0.92 into 10,500. Tell me the number. 9,660, 9,660, 0.84 into 9,600, what is the number? 8,064, number is 8,064, 0.77 into 8,700, the number is 6,699, 6,699, 0.71 into 7,800, 5,538, 5,538, 0.65 into 8,900, the number is how much? 4,485, 4,485, 34,446. Anything still left out or not? Yes, one left out here, salvage value. 34,446, right on. Salvage value. It was 928 at the end of year 5, discount by what? 5 years. Salvage value, 925 into, what is PV factor of 5th year? 0.65. 928 into 0 0.65. 928 into 0 0.65. I want a number 603. 602 or 603 as a guess. Maybe it's 603. Final, slide the final. 603. Can I see? Now tell me what is the net outflow under loan option? 33,843. Discounted outflow under loan option is equal to discount outflow under loan option is equal to 33,843. Discount outflow under loan option is equal to 33,843. 33,843. Stop writing and tell me, if I borrow and buy, what is the cost for me? 33,843. Stop writing. Lease option, I will be indifferent if the discounted lease will be giving you what? Same 33,843. If it is more, I will go for what? Loan. Less, I will go for what? Lease. And now I have to find a discounted lease rental or not? Next. Right on. Alternative 2. Alternative 2, lease option. Alternative 2, lease option. Lease option. Lease option. I think you are understanding ready or not? No. Is that right? Let. Let indifference lease rental be. When I say indifference lease rental means what? I will be equally okay between what? Loan and e lease option. Okay. Let indifference lease rental be X. Let indifference lease rental be X. Let indifference lease rental be X. Answer my question. When I pay X, is the entire X outflow up? No. On which I say what? 40% tax. One lease rental after tax, 0.6X. Write down. Lease rental after tax is equal to, lease rental after tax is equal to 0.6X. Lease rental after tax is equal to 0.6X. Now, this is a single outflow, annuity, annuity. How many years? 5 years. I should multiply this by what factor? Annuity factor. Write down. Annuity factor 9% 5 years. 
annuity factor 9 percent 5 years annuity factor 9 percent 5 years calculator 1 divided by 1.09 is equal to 5 times grand total somebody 1 by 1.09 is equal to 5 gt what's the number 3.89 3.89 other way to do it is add all the 5 years pvf that also gives you what 3.89 and factor of 5 years is 3.89. Next, discounted lease rental after tax. Discounted LRAT. LRAT means what? Lease rental after tax. Discounted lease rental after tax. 0.66 x into 3.89. Discounted lease rental after tax is equal to 0.6x x into 3.89 into 3.89. Can I proceed? Tell me what is the number here? It is 2.334x. Discount lease rental after tax is 2.334x. This should be equated to what? Loan option cash flow. Yes or no? Write down. For the company to be indifferent. For the company to be indifferent between two options for the company to be indifferent between two options for the company to be indifferent between two options comma the discounted lease rental the discounted lease rental should be equal to the discounted lease rental should be equal to loan option outflow the discounted lease rental should be equal to loan option outflow. Should be equal to loan option outflow. Can I proceed? 2.334x is equal to, please fill in the blanks. 2.334x is equal to 33,843. 2.334x is equal to 33,843 x is equal to 33843 by 2.334 is equal to 14500 x is equal to 33843 divided by 2.334 is equal to 14500 this is the maximum i can pay for what lease if the lesser charges are higher rental what i will do i'll rather go for the loan option everybody yes or no now right on lease rental decision have two columns lease rental decision lease rental decision in lease rental right less than 14500 lease rental right less than 14500 i want an answer when the lease rent is less than 14500 what should be the decision lease or loan lease, lease. the decision is what lease the decision is lease is equal to 14500 indifferent is equal to 14500 indifferent greater than 14500 loan greater than 14500 loan answer me 14500 is the least rent before tax or after tax before tax then i claim tax shield and they're only having what the discounted least rent so probably what before tax now, with this, we complete the solution to question number 25. Okay. Okay, question number. Okay. I'll do, I have four problem target here. Yeah? I'll promise I'll do question number 27, leave you today. Okay, now, take question number 26, beginner, I'm not doing it for you. I'll do what question number 27. Take question number 27. Again, pause examination problem. Please. Shh. Question number 27. Take question 27 now. All of you energetic. Good afternoon, friends. Yes, Fully energetic or not? Yes, Are you willing to do even three more sums? Yes, At least 27. Yes, okay, now take question number 27, please. See. We are not doing anything today. We are doing only what? Leasing problems. Concepts are very simple. Right or not? Now, you should not be burdensome. Can I see? Take question number 27. Shh. Mrs. Gama and Co. Gama. 
those who want to start, immediately start there. Yeah. Don't start after I start the question. Door will be closed. Can I proceed? No. Take question 27. Gamma and Co. is planning of installing a power saving machine and are considering buying or leasing alternative. The machine is subjected to straight line method of depreciation. Gamma and Co. can raise debt at 14% payable in 5 equal annual installment of 1,78,858 each at the beginning of year. In case of leasing, the company would be required to pay an annual end of the year rent of 25% of the cost of mission for 5 years. The company is in 40% tax bracket. Salvage value is estimated at rupees 24,998 as good as 25,000 at the end of the 5 years. Evaluate the two alternative and advise the company by considering after tax cash, uh, cost of debt concept under both the alternatives. Present value factor has been given in the question for 1 to 5 years. Okay. Please go through the question before I stop with the solution. Now, please apply your mind and tell me what is missing in the question first. Then you can just start doing the problem. Okay. Go to the question quickly. Please Shh. stop talking. Now, Understand that this will be the last sum I am going to do. Listen to this sum with as much focus as what you assume to have at the beginning of the class. Can I say so? Same focus have now also. Please go through the question quickly. Question number here. Don't look at me. Look at the question. Nothing in my face. Okay, now. Shall we start up? No. Please. See, this is already discussed in time value of money. Once again, you need not copy. Just for discussion's sake, let us discuss and then proceed. There are two types of annuities. One is what? Annuity due and annuity immediate. You want to respond? Yes or no? What is the annuity due? Paid at the end of every year. What is the annuity immediate? Paid at the beginning of the year. Please. For example, year cash flow. First year, second year, third year, 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 1 lakh. It is what annuity? Annuity due. In that case, we find discount record of PVF at suppose 10%. Tell me what the present value factor point? 9091.8264.7513. The discounted cash flow is how much? 0.90, that is 90,910, 82,640, 75,130. Turn what totally up? 2,48,680. Okay, everybody following order, that's how you find it. Can I proceed or not? No. Is annuity immediate right year cash flow? How I write? 0, 1, 2. What is the cash flow? 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 1 lakh. The P factor how much percent? 10 percent. Is what? 1.9091.8264. Now the discounted cash flow is how much here? 1 lakh, 90,910, 80, What the total? 2,73,550. Am I right or not? No. Please. Both annuities are going to give you a different discount of cash flow or not? No. This 
total is 2.4868 now now i can write this like this here cash flow annuity factor discounted cash flow first case one how many years three years cash flow one lakh what is annuity factor 2.4868 is 2,48,680. How I got a 2,48,68? 1 divided by 1 1.10 is equal to, is equal to, is equal to 3 times. I got that number. Yes or no? Now, in second case, it's going to be what? 0 to 2, same 1 lakh. It is annuity factor immediate. It is how much? 2.7355. Can tell me how to find out annuity immediate? Annuity for N minus 1 annuity, add 1 to it. You all remember or not? How many days? 3 annuities. No, find annuity factor for 2. Then the calculator. 1 divided by 1.10 is equal to 2 times plus grand total and add what? 1 to 8. I will be getting what? 2,73,550 rupees. I hope everybody following or not. No. Very simple. Please. 1 to 10 years, I want to find annuity factor. Don't do. Tell me the procedure. 1 to 10 years annuity factor. How to find out? Annuity factor for 10, that is 1 divided by 1.10 is equal to 10 times plus grand total. Yes or no? Now, 0 to 9 years, I want to find out annuity factor. How to find out? Annuity factor for 9 years and add what? 1 to 8. Suppose I want to find an annuity factor immediate for 6 years. What I will do? Annuity factor for 5 years and add 1 to 8. Yes or no? So, annuity factor for n minus 1 annuities and add what? 1 to 8. I will be getting the answer. Now, one last conclusion before I proceed. You tell me the confirmation. 0 to 27. 20, 0 to what? 27. How many annuities? <coughs> 0 to 27. How many annuities? 28 annuities is there. But I find out factor of how many annuities? 27. And then add what? 1 to 8. In the right or not? No. That's all. Yeah. Let's come back to this particular sum. Okay. See. Loan versus lease. The problem is not about what? Loan versus lease. Again, a pass examination sum. Okay. See, in this loan versus lease, whichever gives me what? Lowest outflow, I will select it. Point number one. You saw no. Lease, no problem. Because every year I pay, how much lease rental? Uh, it is going to be how much? 25% of the cost of the asset. Okay. So, every year to pay 25% of the cost of the asset as the lease rental. In loan option, I pay an EMI every how much rupees? 1,78,858. It covers interest as well as what the principal. So, the EMI is 1,78,858. This EMI is year end EMI or year beginning EMI, year beginning EMI. Respond is or no. Now, in the entire sum, we don't know what is the cost of the asset. Get up. I don't know the cost of the asset. The cost of the asset will be obviously the loan amount also. And lease rent also is 25% of the cost of the asset. So my first aim is to find out what the cost of the asset. In the right or not? Now, my question is, how much will I borrow? Yeah. Cost of the asset. Suppose an asset is having 10 lakh rupees cost. I go and borrow how much rupees? 10 lakh. My loan amount and cost of asset is invariably same. Otherwise, unless something is given. Yes or no? So the cost of the asset is equal to loan amount. In the right or not? Okay, now what is loan amount? Present value of EMI. Yes, sir. yes or no? Yes. What is loan amount there? Present value of EMI. Puri liya. What is EMI? Loan amount by annuity factor. What is EMI? Loan amount divided by annuity factor. What is loan amount? EMI into annuity factor. Yes or no? Now, here EMI into annuity factor normal, annuity factor immediate, annuity factor immediate bigger. The EMI is happening what? Beginning of every period. Accept or no? Yes or no? Now, how many annuities? Five annuities. I find an annuity factor for four years and add one to it. Up to this, are you following up? Now, our first step is to know the loan amount. We know the loan amount, that is going to be the cost of the asset. And then proceed to do the problem regularly. Can I proceed or not? Now, please tell me, what is loan amount? EMI into annuity factor. What annuity factor? Annuity factor immediate. How many annuities? 5 annuities. N minus 1 is what? 4. Find annuity factor for 4 years and add 1 to it. In a right or not? At what interest rate the bank is charging? 14%. Can we start doing the solution or not? Now, write down first step 1. Step 1, loan amount. Step 1, loan amount. Okay. 
loan amount is equal to EMI into loan amount is equal to EMI into annuity factor loan amount is equal to EMI into annuity factor 14 percent 4 years plus 1 loan amount is equal to EMI into annuity factor 14 percent 4 years plus 1 loan amount is equal to loan amount is equal to tell me what is the EMI 1,78,858 number correct 1,78,858 into don't look at the slide take the calculator 1 divided by 1.14 is equal to 4 times 1 divided by 1.14 is equal to 4 times plus grand total what's the number 2.9137 add what 1 gives you what 3.9137 178.858 into 3.9137 3.9137 what's the number here 7 lakhs I think you should be accurately getting 6 lakhs 99,998 make it as what 7 lakhs I don't want the 2 rupees and all to have a headache 7 lakhs loan amount is equal to 7 lakhs accept or not no Tell me what the cost of the machine. Someone. Right. Now. Since we borrowed to buy the machine, <laughs> since we borrowed to buy the machine, since we borrowed to buy the machine, the cost of the machine also should be, since we borrowed to buy the machine, the cost of the machine also should be the cost of the machine also should be what is 7 lakhs the cost of the machine also should be 7 lakhs the cost of the machine also should be 7 lakhs everybody I think are all comfortable or not no next we have to go for what loan option I know alternative one loan option the two options are loan versus lease alternative one loan option before you write anything, how many cash flows are there? Please tell me for loan option. Four cash flows. One is what? Principal, interest, salvage value, depreciation. Now, they have given you EMI. How much EMI given? 1,78,858. Every year this money is consisting of principal or interest or principal and interest. So I have to segregate this into what? Principal interest. So that on interest portion, apply what? Tax shield and say interest after tax. Yes or no? No. In one of the bond evaluation problem, it's always seen how to segregate the EMI into what? Principal portion, interest portion. Remember or not? Yes. Any correct? No. Write down loan option. Alternative one is loan option. In that right? Step one. Segregation of EMI. <coughs> segregation of EMI. And calculation of interest after tax. Segregation of EMI and calculation of interest after tax. Segregation of EMI and calculation of interest after tax. <coughs> Can you start or not? Now, have the following columns here opening balance interest principal closing balance one more extra column is interest after tax what is the tax rate given how much 40 percent okay can we start down now first year zero today i borrowed how much rupees seven lakhs Yes, zero, seven lakhs. Okay. Stop writing and tell me. As soon as I borrowed, I gave the first EMI check. You know, it is payable at the beginning of real order. How much I gave? One lakh, seventy-eight thousand, eight fifty-eight. Today, the bank gave me loan of seven lakhs. It immediately took what? First EMI of one lakh, seventy-eight thousand, eight fifty-eight. That one lakh, seventy-eight, eight fifty-eight is for interest of principal. Interest of principal. It is for principal. Because today, no interest accrued. Yes or no? Now, first email is happening what? Today itself. Effectively, I did not borrow someone lakh. I borrow only what? Less than that money. Yes or no? So, the interest is zero. 
the interest is 0. The entire EMI of 178, 858 goes for what? Principal payment. The EMI, entire amount goes for the principal payment. 178,850 bigger. Yes, 0. Nobody can charge interest for today's loan. Yes or no? 178,850. Tell me now, what is the principal now? 7 lakh, like already repaid how much? 178,858. What the closing balance? 5,21,142. 521,142. 521, 142. No interest. Interest after tax is what? Zero. We have filled it up later. Okay. Now, year one. Okay. What is the principal outstanding? 521, This is the real amount I am borrowing. Yes or no? On this, they charge how much percent interest? 14 percent. Please calculate all of you. What is 14 percent on this number? 72,960. At the end of the first year, I have to pay the bank. How much interest? 72,960. 72,960. Stop writing. You give the second check to the bank. How much pays? 1,78,850. In this bank takes how much for interest? 72,960. What is attributable to principal? Yeah? It is how much? 1,5,890. Everybody understanding it or not? 1,5,890. Towards principal is 1,58,898. 1, 1,58,898. Can I proceed? No. Next. Out of 5,21,142, in the first year, EMI, what the principal outstanding? 4,15,244. 4,15,244. 4,15,244. 4 lakh 15,244. 4 15, My question is on this 14 percent interest is due. How much will be? 58,134. 14 percent interest is 58,134. Stop writing. I am giving which check? First or second or third? Or? Third check. Third check for how much will be? 1,78,858. In which bank takes how much more interest? 58,134. And adjust for principal how much will be? 120,724. 170,724. Now, what is the closing principal here? Out of 4,15,244, paid 1,78,724. What is the closing principal? 2,94,520. Closing principal is 2,94,520. 294, 520. Now, year 3. What is the opening principle? 294, 520. How much interest? 14%. 294, 520 into 14%. What is the interest due? 41,233. Interest is 41,233. I am giving the first check, second check, third check or fourth check? Fourth check. I am giving the fourth check for how much base? 178,858. You know how much is taken for interest? 41,233. What is adjusted for principal? 137,625. 137,625. Please tell me what the closing balance of loan? 294,520. I have paid how much? 137,625. What the closing balance? 156,895. 156,895. 156,895. I hope you are understanding it or not. Now, fourth year, what are the opening principle? 156,895. What are the 14 percent interest on that? 21,965. 14 percent is 21,965. I am giving the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth check. Fifth check. Last payment. How much they give? 178,858. How much they take for interest? 21,965. What is adjusted for principal? 1,56,893. 2 rupees, leave it. Bad debts. Can I say? Tell me what the closing balance here? Nil. The closing balance is nil. The loan is not from 1 to 5 years. Running, running for what? 0 to 4 years. Now respond. Are you following up? Now. Please. Stop writing. Tell me. How many checks I gave to the bank? When 5 check? Today. First year yen, second year yen, third year yen, fourth year yen. Every check, what how much rupees? 1,78,858. Please tell me today 178,858 check. How much went for interest? Nothing. What went for principal? 178,858. Next is second check, how much went for interest? 72,960. What for principal? 105,898. Like that, every check is segregated the money into what? Principal portion and interest portion. 
why should I segregate? Anyhow, I'm going to discount. The reason is interest should be adjusted for tax. Principal cannot have a tax shield. Everybody follow what I'm saying? I want to find interest after tax or not. Now tell me, interest after tax. What is tax amount? What is tax rate? 40%. 100 rupees interest paid, 40 rupees tax saved. The net expense only how much? 60%. So what is the first thing is? 72, 960 into 60%, what the number? 43, 776, 43,776. Number writing or not? No. Next is, 58, 131 to 60%, 34,880. 34,880. 41, 233 into 60%, 24,740. 24,740. 21,965 into 60%, 13,179. 13,179. 13,179. Now, stop writing. Loan option, how many cash flows are there? Four cash flows. Name the four cash flows. Principal, interest after tax, depreciation tax saving, salary value. Out of the four, two is completed, yes or no? Because the principal is already here, 178, 105, etc. And this is also what? Interest after tax, two is what? Next to only remaining two needs to be calculated. One is what? Depreciation. Another is what? Salary value after tax. Respond, yes or no? no. Step two or step one or step three? Or? Sorry, step two. I don't sorry. Step two, depreciation tax savings. Depreciation tax savings. Depreciation tax savings. Depreciation is equal to Depreciation is equal to Cost of the asset minus Please tell me cost of the asset minus Salvage value. In all the previous summary, depreciation fully because question said, okay, cost of asset minus salvage value divided by N. Cost of asset minus salvage value divided by N, which is equal to, what is the cost of asset? 7 lakhs. Salvage value made us 25,000. So 24,990, I will give you 2 rupees. How much rupees here? 25,000. 7 lakhs minus 25,000 divided by 5. 7 lakhs minus 25 divided by 5. What depression amount? What's happening here? Yeah? What depression amount here? Yeah? 1 lakh 35,000. Depression 1 lakh 35,000. Tax savings is equal to tax savings is equal to 1 lakh 35,000 into 40 percent. Tax savings is equal to 1 lakh 35,000 into 40 percent is equal to 54,000. Tax savings on depression is 54,000. Is equal to 54,000. Please. Now, salvage value is how much rupees? 25. I will say 25,000 rupees is both before tax as well as what? After tax. Tax is zero. Because at the end of the year, what the book value of the mission? 25,000. What the salvage value? 25,000. Mission costing 25,000. He sold for what? 25,000. What the profit on sale? Zero. The tax is what? Zero. Salvage value as well as what? Salvage value after tax is 25,000. In a part, right or not? You want to write down step three up. Step three. Step three. We have one separate step for that. If you get confused, step three. Salvage value after tax. Step 3, salvage value after tax. Salvage value after tax. Can you start? No, write down. Salvage value is equal to, right along with me, how much you can sell? 25,000. Salvage value is equal to 25,000. Minus, minus cost of the mission. Cost of the mission, bracket la book value. Minus cost of the mission, book value. What is the book value? 25,000. How is it? It is 25,000 because every time I depreciate 1,35,000. At the end of the day, what is the WDV? 25,000. Next. Profit on sale. Profit on sale. So, mission costing 25, sold for 25. What is the profit on sale? Zero. Profit on sale, zero. Profit on sale, zero. Tax. Tax is equal to zero. Tax is equal to zero. Salvage value after tax is equal to. Salvage value after tax is equal to 25,000 minus zero. You should not ask question here. This is dictating 25,000 minus zero is equal to 25,000. Salvage value after tax 25,000 minus zero is equal to 25,000. 
25,000 minus 0 is equal to 25,000. Shall I proceed or not? No. All the four cash flows over up. Now I have to find out the discounted cash flow. Step 4 or step 5? Yeah? Step 4. Discounted cash flow under loan option. They are going to complete another 2 or 3 minutes. Right fast. Discounted cash flow loan option. Discounted cash flow loan option. Okay. Have the following columns here. Principal interest after tax depreciation tax savings all these are already seen in previous sums right not here principal interest after tax depreciation and tax saving net outflow net outflow present value factor at 8.4 percent what it is I will tell you once you write okay Present value factor at 8.4 percent and discounted cash flow. Discounted cash flow. When I come through that column and tell you the present value factor here, don't worry about that. All the other columns able to follow or not? At 8.4 percent discounted cash flow. Can you start or not? Now, here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Why write year 0? One of the EMA happens today itself. It's or no? Year 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Tell me, principal, you all have in the step 1 principal portion now. Tell me, ES0, what is it? 178, 858. I want everybody to write it. 178, 858. Year 1, 105,898. 105,898. Year 2, 120,724. 1,20,724. Year 3. Look at the notebook step 1 and tell me what is year 3. 1,37,625. I think you are all looking at the notebook and writing now. Don't look at the slide and write here. Don't watch like a movie. 137,625. Year 4. What a principal DPM? 156,895. 156,895. I hope you are all following or not? No. Year 5, nothing. You know, everything is closed in 4 years. The loan option, na, nothing. Interest after tax, same step 1, last column you calculated. Tell me the numbers. Everybody tell and write. Nil. Year 1, 43,776. Nil. 43,776. 34,880. 13,179. 24,740. 13,179. Nil. Okay. Depreciation tax, I think it's 54,000 rupees, huh? if I'm right. Okay. It is inflow or outflow, inflow, right in brackets. 54, 54, 54, 54, 54 and 54,000. 54,000, 54,000, 54,000, 54,000 and 54,000, right in brackets, they are inflows. Depreciation tax savings. Okay, tell me what is first year net cash flow? 178, 858. 178, 858. 105, plus 43, 776 minus 54,000. I want a number. What is the number? 95,674. 120, 724 plus 34, 880 minus 54,000. Tell me what is the number? 1 lakh 1,604. 101, 604. 1 lakh 1,604. 137, 625 plus 24, 740 minus 54,000. Number is how much? 108, 365. 1 lakh 8,365. 156, 895 plus 13, 179 minus 54,000. 1,16,070. 1,16,070. I think 74. Huh? Okay, 74 is 70. No problem. Okay. 4 base, you know, I'm going to discount at 8.4. Nothing is going to happen. Now, minus 54,000. Minus 54,000. Now, stop writing. These cash flows are adjusted for tax or without tax. Huh? Okay. Answer. Yeah. These cash flows are adjusted for tax or without tax? 
adjusted for tax. You know, the interest is what? After tax. Uh, the mission cost is given for what? Tax savings. Everything is what? After tax. Don't say principal before tax. It is same before as well as what? After tax. That's why tax is possible. You have to adjust for what? Tax. Uh, the cash flow is after tax cash flow. So no. After tax cash flow should be discounted. That before tax discount rate or after tax discount rate, after tax discount rate. That you are able to understand or not? Again, if the cash flows are before tax, discount using what? Before tax discount rate. If the cash flows are after tax, discount using what? After tax discount rate. I cannot explain this once again. Explain number of times. Yes or no? No. Now, 14% is the borrowing cost. This question, unlike the previous question, has not given you cost of capital. Has not given you what? Cost of capital. So what we assume is borrowing cost. Let's assume for what? Discounting. We'll see the chart later. Okay. When cost of capital is not given, one can assume what? Borrowing cost as a discount rate. Tell me what is the cost of borrowing given in the question? 14%. What is the cost of borrowing? 14%. 14% is the interest bank is charging before tax. Yes or no? Yes or no? In the 14% interest, I'll claim what? 40% tax yield or not? So the balance is only 60% or 14%. Yes or no? What the interest rate here? 8.4%. In the part, right or not? No. We can have a note for this later. In the next class, let's complete the factors. Okay. Question has given you the factor. Take the calculator. 1 divided by 1.084. You know what there? 0.9 that is sorry first year 0 is what 1 year 0 is what next is what 0.9225 next is what 0 0.8510 0 0.7851 and 0 0.6681 0 0.6681 so the question also discounted 8.4 percent because it is after tax discount rate now discounted cash flow 178, 858 into 1, 178,858. 95,644 into 0.9225. Number 88,259. 88,259. Okay. 101,604 into 0.8510. 86,465. 106,465. 108,365 into 0.7851. 85077 85077 16070 into 0.7242 84067 84 and that should be inflow last year na minus 54000 into 0.6681 36077 36077 everything is over or not so or not so still we have what salvage value year 5 salvage value after tax SVAT means what? Salvage value after tax. 25,000 into 25,000 into 0 0.6681 25,000 into 0 0.6681 25,000 into 0 0.6681 I want the number. What is the number? 16,703 It is an inflow or outflow? Inflow. Reduce it. 16,703 Discounted cash outflow discounted cash outflow net of everything what is the loan option discounted cash outflow 4 lakh 69,940 loan option is 4 lakh 69,940 469,940 I hope everybody following or not now alternative one more what alternative one loan option next alternative is what lease option right now next one step here yeah. You should not have shouted that lease option only one step. Better the only cash flow lease and after tax over. Yeah, can I say right now? Next alternative to lease option. Alternative to lease option. Alternative to lease option. Please. Lease rent is equal to don't talk. Lease rent is not equal to don't talk. Lease rent is equal to twenty five percent of cost of asset. Lease rent is equal to 25% of cost of asset. Lease rent is equal to 25% of cost of asset, which is equal to 7 lakhs into 25%. 7 lakhs into 25%, 1 lakh 75,000. Lease rent is 1 lakh 75,000. When I pay 1 lakh 75,000, is my expense 1 lakh 75? No. I say what? 40% on the tax. No. So next is lease rent after tax. Lease rent after tax is equal to 
Well, number 3.9509. Anti factor is equal to 3.9509. 3.9509. Next, discounted LRAT, lease rental after tax. Discounted lease rental after tax. Discounted lease rental after tax. 1,5000 into 3.9509. 1,5000 into 3.9509 is equal to 4,14,851. 4, 800? Okay, 4,14,845. Some number, yeah, 414,841. Stop, wait. Tell me which is better, lease or loan option? Right on. Lease option should be selected. Lease option should be selected. Lease option should be selected since its outflow is lowest. Lease option should be selected since its outflow is lowest. Since its outflow is lowest. Next class we will complete the lease and solve it capital budgeting under uncertainty. Okay.